Hello, this is Jane Talbot. It is day 25 of my romantic fiction writing adventure. My head is about to explode. For today's adventure, I find myself standing at a crossroads, having to make the decision whether to turn one way or the other. I have received really valuable feedback about my synopsis. I think my story works. There's some fine tuning to do, but fundamentally, it's a good story. The issue that has arisen is I have stumbled across an article about a woman, a published author, I think she was a thriller writer, who took herself out of a spirit of curiosity, she took herself to a Mills and Boone writing course and found it really challenging. And the reason she found it so challenging is what is that she was invited, told, in order to be successful, she would really have to strip out most of the prose. So Mills and Boone is pacey, dialogue-led. The talking does all of the work. Then I thought about my book, and mine's about 50-50 prose and dialogue. And I also realised now, having read more articles this morning, that the Mills and Boone reader likes pace and speed. They like to get to the point quickly. So, yeah, I know, may need to know a little bit about the background of each of my characters, but let's just get to the meat as quickly as we can and focus on that story. Whereas my book takes a little bit of time to ready Evie, the main character, for the meat. She has to be ripe for it. And that takes, unfortunately, in my book, 8,000 words. So I'm pretty certain now that if I sent that um, submission to Mills and Boone, it would be a definite no. So here I am at the crossroads. That is, I pursue my own writing style and explore my own writing style and I express myself in my own authentic way. Or I go down the Mills and Boone route, keep the same synopsis, strip out the prose and play with this particular genre. Can I write a commercial, dialogue-driven text? Both have benefits in terms of adventure. I am at a crossroads. I'm not sure which way to turn. Spoken to a friend of mine, a thriller writer. He says, just write your own stuff. There will be someone who wants to read it because you are writing yourself. And tonight, I'm going to speak to another author to see what her view of things might be. I am torn. And I think I need a break from writing. <laughs> I might take tomorrow off. 